NBA season is back, and if you betting on prize picks, take the under. I say take the under because players like Joel Embiid, I think they getting paid to take the under because there was no reason why he ain't fight for that three-pointer. And then he went down and make it worse. Like, he is basically covering the spread. Like, he's covering the spread. Look at his horrible-ass pick. He picks the guy, goes to the side, Tobias Harris. He's like, you are in a fucked-up space. You know, Kelly Oubre goes downhill, and then he just bats the ball to the other team. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, you, it's like you're trying to help the other team win. And then come down and hit the three. The next play, D'Angelo Russell, fast break. The Lakers on a break. He stops the fast break, like, goes, why, pass it off, why, and then shoots a three shoot and misses. You can't tell me. Shot. This next play, they definitely got to be played to, like, this don't even make no sense. Seven foot, you air ball on a floater, layup wide open. Like, this shit, they, like, the players are part of the spread, so make sure you take the under this season. So make sure you taking the unders this season because the overs is crazy. Like, uh, this this game, uh, the Anthony Davis played like shit the first game, so I knew he was going to cover because he played good one game, shit the next game. Uh, Giannis, he had 23 points. And, and it was eight minutes left in the game, and he didn't score another time. Like he did, like like Giannis, Mister. I'm I'm a, I'm just going down. He got one move, bounce step, euro, spin, bounce into everybody, and foul. Like that's his one move. Chris Middleton had three rebounds in the third quarter. Like he had, and then didn't get another rebound. So I'm convinced they they part of the damn spread. They come, they help him cover the spread. Like if you want to win, go under. Because you're going to lose.